first annual hackathon. The reason that we started this hackathon is because IT is so important to our county and so important to our economy, and so we need kids, especially girls, who are really interested and excited about doing this. I decided to become a coder because I saw a lot of the guys do it, and I was like, I want to do the same things as them or do it even better. That's what got me into coding, and hopefully other girls will do it too. spent a bunch of nights figuring out what we needed to make this happen from IT to the snacks to the food to what mentors we needed to bring which was huge. The mentors and the teaching opportunities are the biggest part, one of the biggest parts. We are here, there's almost 120 students and the most important thing I want them to walk away with is that the relationships they build here is more important than the code that they write because your network is your net worth. And maybe you look to the right, maybe you look to the left, and you may start a company with that person. And a hackathon is the place to meet them. We did this for the community, we did this for the county. We hope that it grows into something bigger, that the kids go back to school motivated and excited to want to take on more and more and more, and leave learning something. That's really the goal. If they leave and they learn one thing, and they leave happy, we did our job. <laughs> So it's around 4 o'clock right now, who needs coffee when you have adrenaline, am I right? <laughs> oh god, I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be an ultrasonic sensor on here to detect how far away the, like, the person being recorded is, and it'll move and turn based on where that like, person is. We are really, really proud of our students for participating in this event today, and we hope to have many, many more in the future.